Covering Wisconsin weather for 20 years, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Although our normal high temperature climbs up to freezing tomorrow for the first time in months, we will be nowhere near it. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend. Highs tomorrow will be mainly in the single digits and lower teens. We can expect mid teens on Friday, some lower 20s on Saturday, and then mid to upper 20s as we move into March. Well, the big story today was the big cool down, the exact opposite of what we saw yesterday. Temperatures this afternoon running 10 to 20 degrees colder. So instead of highs in the 30s, we had highs that were only in the single digits and teens. And that's what we're looking at right now. It's 12 in Oshkosh. We've got 13 in Manitowoc and it's currently 7 degrees in Menominee. In Green Bay, it is mostly cloudy and 14 with a light wind. The wind chill is also 14 degrees. In Appleton, we're looking at mostly cloudy conditions with temperatures in the mid-teens. Those clouds did produce a little bit of light snow across the southern counties earlier this afternoon. We're actually looking at some accumulating snow across southern Wisconsin and then a whole lot of snow across parts of Iowa into Illinois with 8 to 10 inches actually across parts of central and eastern Iowa from this particular storm. This storm is an Alberta clipper. It is now beginning to push off towards the east. That's going to allow this area of high pressure to build in from Canada as we move through the night. And that area of high pressure will reinforce the cold air as we head into tomorrow. You can see directly underneath it, high temperatures were only in the single digits. And that cold air is going to come in on some gusty winds later on tonight. And for that reason, we are looking at a wind chill advisory for Langlade, Northern Oconto, Marinette and also Menominee County, Michigan. That is up for later on this evening into tomorrow morning. Here's what the wind chills are going to do. They're going to drop down into the teens and 20s below zero for most of us tomorrow morning across the far north. Wind chills could drop into the 30s below zero. Highs tomorrow will be pretty cold as well, mainly in the lower teens or about 20 to 25 degrees below normal for this time of year. Tomorrow's cold weather will just solidify our place in the history books. This February will go down as one of the coldest on record. So the rest of the month is going to be cold. It's also going to be quiet. Precision cast shows clearing skies tonight. Lots of sunshine tomorrow morning and then sunshine mixing with a few clouds throughout the day. Tonight, frigid wind chills developing and turning breezy. Overnight lows will be in the single digits below zero. Tomorrow, high temperatures running 20 degrees below normal or colder. Most of us will be in the upper single digits to lower teens. Another frigid morning on Friday with lows around 10 below. Look for a high of 15. 22 on Saturday. Lots of sunshine both days. And then as we move into March, a chance for a little bit of light snow and some warmer weather. Upper 20s behind that system. A brief cool down before we warm up again on Tuesday. This system is looking a little more potent as far as accumulating snow is concerned. We've got plenty of time to watch it. Colder weather behind that on Wednesday with highs only around 20. But as we head towards next weekend, it, looked like, uh, it looks like it will warm up a little bit. Temperature is getting close to 30 and then even warmer weather as we uh, start to think about heading into mid-March already. I know. That. I can't believe it. Those 30s look fantastic. Yeah, and we're going to go up as we head past that. Yeah, we're getting into spring. We are. Still ahead tonight, UWGB makes plans to help students 